सेकेंड वन इफ ए कामा बी आर एनी टू इवेंट्स ऑफ ए रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट random experiment random experiment such that p of a does not equal to 0 p of b does not equal to 0 then p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b condition on a or p of b into p of a condition on b so now this is known as multiplication theorem on probability this question may be asked in the examination state and prove multiplication theorem on probability if you are asked that question first you write down the statement statement a comma b are any two events of a random experiment such that p of a does not equal to 0 p of b does not equal to 0 there will be definitely they will occur so then p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b condition on a is equal to p of a into p of a condition on b otherwise what is meant by b condition on a means after the occurrence of a b occurs what is meant by a condition on b means after the occurrence of b a occurs so let us prove it now so given a comma b are two events in a random experiment random experiment from conditional probability conditional probability probability from the definition of the conditional probability p of b condition on a is equal to n of a intersection b by n of a now you do one thing divide both numerator and denominator denominator by n of s n of s sample space number of elements in sample space now this can be written so p of b condition on a is equal to n of a intersection b by n of s this is n of a by n of s just observe numerator and denominator here favorable cases by total number of cases favorable cases by total number of cases that is the classical definition of the probability this becomes p of a intersection b by this becomes probability of a cross multiplication p of a intersection b is equal to we get p of a into p of b condition on a similarly we can prove we can prove p of a intersection b is equal to p of b into p of a condition on b hence it is proved very simple proof thought 
third one if e1 e2 e3 so on en are mutually exclusive exclusive and exhaustive and exhaustive exhaustive events events in a sample space in a sample space yes and a is any event associated associated with any ei i take the values from 1 to n that means any ei such that p of a does not equal to 0 then p of ek condition on a is equal to p of ek into p of a condition on ek by sigma i runs from 1 to n p of e i into p of here a condition on e i do you know what is theorem so this theorem is known as bayes theorem bayes theorem bayes theorem so in the examination you may be asked to state and prove bayes theorem the statement is compulsory you have to remember so you have to keep in your mind you have to just go through the same as it is you have to remember you have to write the statement in the examination if the statement is not given because i suppose that i think that the question may be given like this state and prove bayes theorem so proof see e1 e2 e3 dash dash en are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events in a sample space that means so e1 intersection e2 intersection e3 and so on intersection en is equal to null set pi e1 union e2 union and dash dash en is equal to yes sample space yes a is associated with ei so that means even e1 intersection a e2 intersection a e3 intersection a even en intersection a also pi so now we have to prove that this one so now right let us write like this proof e1 e2 e3 dash dash en are mutually mutually exclusive and exhaustive events events so that means here okay from by multiplication theorem on probability let us write 
P of E K conditioned on A. That is P of E K intersection A by P of A. Say equation one. This is okay. P of E K. Now. P of A we have to find out. P of A. P of A means here since they are mutually exclusive, we have union of E i i takes from n is equal to yes sample space. And A intersection E i is equal to pi, A intersection A is equal to pi. So, now consider P of A, P of A means this is nothing but we can write P of S intersection A, you replace S value here, P of union I is equal to 1 to N E I intersection A. From union axiom, this can be written like this, sigma I is equal to 1 to N P of E I intersection A. Okay. So, now this we can write using multiplication theorem i is equal to 1 to n, this is p of e i into p of a condition on e i. Okay. We can write like this. Substituting, substituting in equation 1. So, substituting in equation 1 from 1, okay, from 1 let us write P of E k conditioned on A is equal to, this is nothing but P of E k into P of a condition on E k by P of A is replaced by this value, okay. that is nothing but sigma i is equal to 1 to n P of E i into P of A condition on E i that is all. This is somewhat uh, actually very very important problem. So, be, be careful while doing this problem actually. So, you concentrate more on this one. First statement after that so the concepts we have to make use of.